All right, we're back. We should play Die Katana. No, channel. no one should ever play Die Katana. That game was awful. George Romero made you his bitch in the worst possible way. He apologizes for that ad to this day. <sighs> Fucking John Romero. Worst. He, is, he is the worst of the two Johns. Yeah, whatever happened to the other one, Carmichael? Carmack? Carmack. Uh, I think he went on to program for Unreal. Oh, yeah. How's that working out for him? Well, I mean, Unreal Engine is one of the most, if not the most popular engine on Earth right now, so... Well, that's fair. Evidently pretty good. Yeah. No, can't argue with success. You know what? You just keep doing that. That's working out super good. Yeah. Yeah, it's Good combination of powers. Oh, we're gonna need to deal with the bird, though. Oh dear, and those water guys. I'm not sure that your firepowers will be as effective. Oh, that bird is mildly. Okay. He, he is not the brightest. You could say he's something of a bird brain. Oh no, the flakes. Oh wait, this is probably a bad time for me. Ah. Oh, never mind. I can just force them into the spikes. Yeah, no, this is fine. Uh, no, the monkey, however, bonkers, he seems to be having just the yeah! worst time. Yeah! Go Cam. Fire. Oh, speaking of bonkers. Uh, you mind uh, keeping him off me so I can get this dumbass back on his feet? Ah, man, my firepower may not hurt him, but I can push him into those spikes. Alright, let's get out of we this awful it. tiny room with the spikes and the corpses. Unrelated to me, I assume. Oh man. So there's uh, two games that I kind of want to play on on stream at some point. Yeah. What? Tell the audience what they want. Uh, the first is I want to play a ROM hack called Pokemon Clover. Is this the one where they replace everybody with Tohu's? No. Okay. No, it, it's the one where uh, just about every Pokemon is something offensive or a meme. Uh, for instance, one of the starter Pokemon is called Grasshole. <laughs> and, it, and it's pretty much... Yeah, just... that was the nickname for uh, Snively because uh, when he was first uh, displayed, he looked like a smug asshole. Yeah, only when he was first displayed. Well, I mean, you know, okay, I'll get the one on the right, you get the other one. But, but, then I, why were you going left, Jay? I mentioned earlier in the stream that I'm tired, right? I'm not thinking with the best brain. Anyway, it looks like a bipedal Bulbasaur with just a twig growing out of its butt. <laughs> <laughs> and just as it grows, it becomes like a giant bear with a full evergreen sticking out of its asshole. <laughs> Anyway, I want... Uh, so I'm assuming the reference to Clovers, these are 4chan memes, yeah? Yeah. And I want oh. you very much okay, to... Okay, so yeah, Squeak Squad. It's adorable. It's my favorite game. And I want you very much to not look it up, because I want to see your reactions as you encounter each terrible meme Pokemon for the first time. Okay, we could do that as our next Nuzlocke. Neat. No, we don't even have to do a no, Nuzlocke. No, we're not thing. doing a Nuzlocke, but you know what I meant. Yeah. Divine Terminus. To be, yeah, puzzle piece. The other one that I want to do is uh, an old timey Transformers video game. That oh, is, is this that like famously hard one that made Aaron from the Game Grumps cry? Yes, I've played it before. It's not as bad as Aaron says it is. But Nothing it's... is. He's terrible at video games. It's still pretty bad, though. Oh yeah, no, it's a Super Nintendo game, so it's not easy, but like... Nothing is as hard as Aaron says it is. Like, that's one thing I learned about video games real early, is that, like... <laughs> that Game Grumps are bad at them? <laughs> like, that's the thing, too, it's like, Danny's not even that bad at the games he's actually played before. Like, when Danny knows- Oh shit, oh, I missed the Rhino. Well, he's gone now. Gone forever. You're my friend now. I like Greenberg, he looks cute. But yeah, no, like, even Danny, when he knows the game, isn't as bad as Aaron. Yeah, wasn't he super good at Burger Time? 
Man, he was super good at a lot of games he's actually played before. Which, I mean, you know, a lot of people should be, but... My point being is that it, the problem actually is Aaron, who needs tutorials handsome. Uh -oh. You know what, this is fine. Except Kirby Golf, he's gotten pretty good at that through just his wealth of experience. I was gonna say, he's got pretty good at that from his sheer determination not to keep losing to Dan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I also Frolf. He got pretty good at some weird trick shots in Frolf. Fuck, I forgot about Frolf. Do you have the key still? Yes. Okay, so remember this one's weird, and I can't remember. Oh, yeah. You gotta be ready to go, 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 go. Did it. Yeah, me, all alone. Not a single person to help me. Anyway, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel good, does it? No. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, he also, got, when I do it. he also got it from Frawl. But, yeah, for the most part, Aaron is terrible at games, which makes it more frustrating when he's playing a game I know, and he's like, this game is bullshit. Go in the door! Go in the door before it crushes you! Push it's, it's up! It's not doing- okay, there it goes. You weren't pushing up. I was! I was pushing up! I swear to you, I was pushing up. That's why I kept jumping, because I kept pushing up. Yeah, that's why it, it makes a lot of his, a lot of watching Game Grumps really frustrating when it's like, not only is he not trying, he's actively being wrong. Or when they miss a super obvious piece of exposition and then yeah. are like, oh, the game fucking never told me. Or when they miss a super obvious story beat and then they get mad at the story for being bad for pretty much Where's no Ry reason. Oh, no Rhino. No? Damn it. No. Well, do you want to be... Yeah, you know what? Your power set... Yeah, I'm good as is. It's pretty good. I'm it's just not optimal. Good set. Could be worse. Oh, give Bonkers firepower. Oh, I get the feeling he's not going to give those firepowers. Okay. I was gonna give him the power. Yeah, but he wasn't gonna put his hammer up. He's too busy dealing with the fucking trampoline because he's a bit of a knob. God damn it, bonkers. Just sitting in a corner of the map, jumping over and over. Dumbass. This is why humans have replaced your species. This is why you're in a cage getting shot for looking at children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Stop right there, pink one. Oh, so I heard about this phenomenal gorilla. <laughs> That, um... I, oh, Zan Partisan, that was it. Right. He, he lived for, like, 30 What's more, years. somehow bested my darling Franny and Bearish. How many luck has run out? It's the dearest wish of Lord Highness. That no one interferes. Well, I mean, that's just unfortunate, because <laughs> interfering is just about all I do. There was this gorilla that lived for, like, 30 years in the London Zoo. Yeah. And uh, he was just the greatest, by all accounts. Um, basically, uh... This is a fucking mess. Uh, there are a few things he was famous for. Right. Uh, the first was that when he was a little baby gorilla, uh, he used to go on walks with the handlers all throughout the zoo, and he loved it. And he loved yeah. going to see the other animals. Because being a primate, he knows he's inherently superior to them, and likes seeing them in cages. Um, anyway, he eventually... Oh god, pain! He eventually got too big for any of his handlers to reasonably do this way. Yeah, they, they no longer felt safe to him. Despite the fact that he was well behaved, he was like an 800 pound gorilla. Yeah. I mean, um, even at the best of times, he's an 800 pound gorilla, and those aren't known for being the most mild mannered of creatures. Anyway, um. What happened was uh, he got super pissed about this because gorillas have like a sense of justice, right? Yeah. So whenever he saw another animal walking around outside of the zoo, or outside of the zoo enclosures, including fucking seagulls, he would just lose his shit and just start throwing poop at them. I imagine poop thrown by a gorilla <laughs> is lethal force to a <laughs> Essentially. Uh, anyway, he nope. hated birds. Kindness. Hated birds. Because uh, whenever they started, like, squawking, he thought Hold they on. were laughing at him. Why is this interference? 
So, to any of you out there who have the capability, I recommend slowing down the footage very soon. Actually, note to future self, do that at the end of this episode, so people can read what's about to happen. Anyway. This dude is fucking callous. Anyway. Well then, it seems we do not have enough energy to revive our Dark Lord. Must we allow ourselves to fall into oblivion? No! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 we were responsible stop at the rolls of the nightmare and we called no pause man. Your futures of pause, you vessel that contains our dark lord, blah, 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 blah. Happy birthday! Grace is gone. It actually does say that. It says happy birthday? To his dark lord. Oh. Uh, it's like a Frosty the Snowman thing where he says happy birthday because he's just Happy birthday! You see it now, don't you? Anyone who interrupts a revival ceremony, we must kindly ask that they... Please disappear forever! Fissium That's a good title. Yep. Anyway, gorilla. Yes, gorilla that was that was pissed as fucking birds. Right. For good reason. Hated them. Hated the birds. Um anyway. A, a beast after my own heart. He eventually uh learned that he could throw his poop at more than just birds and decided that whenever a human had wronged him, he would also throw poop at them. So, ah. like, whenever anyone would sit at the side of his cage taunting him, he would just throw poop at them. And this made him beloved by, like, all of Britain. Because he was, like, the ultimate vigilante gorilla who just punished surly, the rude. <laughs> surly vigilante gorilla. Yeah. He yeah. punished rude people. Yeah. Which, as you, yeah, know, Britain, it, as, yeah. as you know, in Britain, being rude is punishable by, by death. death. Yes. He damn near sucked the souls out of the girls. Anyway, um, there was one famous instance where this woman sat by his thing eating grapes. Yeah. Or, no, eating plums. And, uh, the whole thing is that he was sitting by the side of the thing, gesturing to her, asking for some plums. Because this is, like, back in the day where no one cared if you fed foods to the fucking zoo animals. Yeah. Except for the people who had the food, evidently. Yeah. Anyway, she didn't want to give up any of her food. And yeah. she wasn't acknowledging him at all. And he felt slighted by this. So he threw some poop Look out. at her. And, um, everyone laughed. And then she went to go complain to Zoo Staff, right? Oh yeah, and, as you do when you get covered in gorilla poop. And the Zoo Staff know this gorilla. Yeah. And they know that he only does this to people that he believes deserves it. So they're like, oh, what did you do? Yeah. And, uh, she's like, oh, I didn't do anything. I was just eating my plums. Did you give him any plums? No, I didn't give him any plums. Well, you should have said you should have shared your plums then. Yeah. And just told her to leave. Oh dear, bird needs help. I'll help bird. Anyway, I think that's great. Yeah. I mean, he's got a point. Okay, so now we gotta hit him when he fucking comes out of there. Oh cool, my spider webs are traps, and if he just hits them. Quick, beat him up while he's paralyzed by fear and indecision. Yay, we did I want to point out that we did this in one try this time. As Last time this to like took five. us like three. Yeah. You? How could you defeat me? The Lord Highness! I have a star on Hollywood! I've spoken to Conan O'Brien! An offering to our Dark Lord Conan. Perhaps <laughs> there is an offering. What should I do? Only one option remains. Those who harbor the greatest of magic, I call upon you. We shall revive the late show. <laughs> Bring back the Saturday night show. Make it so. Accept my aid. I pledge <laughs> myself to this comedy sketch. <laughs> Lord of Destruction. Our Dark Lord may be reborn. Rise, Jay Leno, destroyer <laughs> of worlds! Here comes the Crimson Chin! Oh, this looks bad. Yeah, generally when a giant crystal heart starts pulsating black spikes, yeah. I, I, I get a little worried. 
Evil undulations often lead to bad situations. <laughs> I should put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, we'll see you next time, folks. Well, I'll restart this part on the next episode. See ya.